Okay, I just saw the time apart card and marriage and then different pages. You and this person are on different pages with each other right now. You're not seeing eye to eye. Okay, that's the current energy. Disagreements. Okay, maybe fighting for some of you all. For some of y'all, it's not just fighting, you know, it could just be the fundamentals, like you don't agree with your, you don't agree, you don't see, view money the same way, finances the same way. I mean, I don't know, maybe even sex the same way for some of you, but let's see what else. What's the shared energy here between the divine feminine and divine masculine? Mm. Uh oh yeah the children car just fell on the floor i'm not picking it up patience someone may want children someone here may may be seeing someone here may want to have a child or have children and someone else is not in agreement with that or they may have changed their mind about that for some of you all this situation involves children what else leap of faith Okay, so somebody's ready to take a new leap in it. So someone has accepted something for what it is and they're ready to take a leap of faith to do something here. Balance. So there was an imbalance here. There was an imbalance. Somebody was either not getting what they felt like they deserved. Somebody was not getting enough. Yeah. Okay, that, that's just what it is. All right. Someone here could be thinking they are ready to take a leap of faith into a totally new direction here. For those of you, let me just, here, let me pick a different deck here. Let's see. Let's see who's who. So something definitely here about being on the two different pages, not seeing eye to eye about something. An imbalance in the connection, okay? Um, someone here may lack patience or divine timing is at play here. And somebody needs to remember everything happens for a reason and everything was, everything happened when it was supposed to, okay? Show me this divine masculine's energy, please. Oh my gosh, I gotta pick this up. <sighs> Sorry, y'all. Uh, yeah, okay. This divine masculine was definitely given to more than one person. They were given to two people. For some of y'all, three people. Options, decisions. So either this person here has a decision to make. Two of Wands, Two of Pentacles energy, and they're weighing their options. Divine masculine could have had more than one person. Yeah, betrayal. There it is. They have more than one person. Thank you, spirit. Spirit was like, no, nope, I want my I want my cake and eat it too. <laughs> Divine masculine could have been seeing somebody here who a had a really healthy diet here and they went to go and get the treats. The temptation. I feel like somebody came, Divine Masculine came to some form of temptation here. This person was dishonestly cheated. Um be betrayed you. Show me more about the Divine Masculine, please. Release. Take action. So this person here is not able to let you go. They're not able to move on. And they do want to take some action towards you. Yeah, they can't let you go. Clingy, holding on, won't let go. Thank you, Spirit. So this is... <laughs> This is your divine masculine getting ready to take a leap of faith. So now we know who's who here. Okay. Leap of faith. You see, they're they're like hoping that I just got I just want to run to you with open arms. <laughs> I can't sing, but yeah, you see how they have like their arms all stretched out. This person's considering making a move. They want to take some action. It looks like good action, but I don't know if you, Divine Feminine, are going to be ready to forgive this person, take them back. Even some of you all have, you know, just turned your back on this situation. Show me more, Divine Masculine. 
Thank you. Chaser coming to obsess. Obs this person is obsessively watching you, spying on you on social media. They are getting ready to chase after you. They are not able to let you go and drop this. This, this person is not going to drop this. Yeah. Affection, touchy, forehead, kisses, open door. And you know what's so funny? Um, during the pre-shuffle, the energy that I saw was energy of someone. I saw the Knight, the Knight of Pentacles, and I saw the Ace of Wands. And I was like, dang, somebody going to be... <laughs> like strong somebody is like strong strong i mean like maybe they are strong maybe they have muscles i don't know or they work out they're in the gym but like somebody's like turned on strong if y'all get my drift anyway that's for my grown people okay in the back hi that's the energy that i saw when i was shuffling i was like dang okay all right, show me more here. So what's this divine masculine getting ready to do? Not say anything about it. I don't get it. So this is why, well, so why does the, the divine feminine need to know this if this person is just going to hold back and not say anything? They probably are afraid you will reach money. I just saw money flip over, but it didn't come out. Money could be a blockage or an issue right now, okay? But we'll see. Quality, yeah, this person wants to come, oh. Okay, thank you, Spirit. Some of y'all have a new love coming towards you that's a past life connection, okay? Wait, can y'all see that? A new person's coming towards you here. So that could be the options, energy. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what comes out for you, Divine Feminine. But um, I feel like that's separate. But this, your Divine Masculine here wants to come travel towards you. So they're in a, for a period of time. They've been holding back or this period is, the, or this person is going to continue to hold back. And then they're not going to be able to hold back any longer. And they're going to want to travel towards you, race towards you. To spend some equality time with you alone, okay? I'm telling you, this person is very, wants to hug you, hold you, kiss you, squeeze you. They're like all up in each other's personal space in this card. And we did see the touchy-feely energy here too. This person has had some form of spiritual awakening or realization that you are who you are. You, you, They miss you. They're seeing this, they're understanding that meeting you, there was a purpose to that. They're accepting, right? They're accepting this connection for what it really is. They're accepting what they've done wrong. I mean, this is the energy that I'm getting here. They do have unconditional love for you. They do love you. Now, for some of you all, you could be feeling like, hey, I, I, I'm looking for unconditional love. I've had my own spiritual awakening, you know, I'm seeing this, this connection just wasn't happy. It wasn't, um, and you know, it wasn't fun to get through and heal from, but you could have gone through your own spiritual awakening, divine feminine, and it pushed you into your purpose. And now you're understanding like this, this, that connection was meant to, for you to grow from and heal. And become, it may have pushed you into your purpose or whatever it is that you're passionate about, right? And then that's like, boom, that's when you get this new thing. I'm telling you, this new energy keeps popping up. Um, I, I really feel strongly. So show me about divine feminine, divine feminine energy. Oh, I just saw that. Um, I said divine feminine energy, and then look what came out, divine masculine. Are you thinking about this divine masculine? Let's see. You're mirroring your divine masculine, divine feminine. Ha! Both of you are both going uh, through a, some form of spiritual awakening. Look at that. You are mirroring your person. Show me more about the divine feminine. 
Yeah, yeah. Ro <laughs> Look, you've got romance and love in the air. I feel like you guys are ready to get to know somebody new here. I feel like you guys do are mirroring your person. However, I feel like you guys want something new as well. Okay, there's like romance and love in the air. Oh, you want to get back together with your masculine. Look at this compromising energy. You want to make it work. Bottom of the deck is lessons, self-development, self-growth. So during this time frame, the, the rejection and the issues that the two of you went together, um, went through together was supposed to push you both into your purpose and on into your path. It's been a long road. The two of you were not seeing eye to eye on a lot of things. And for some of you all, it was children. For some of you all, it was finances. Imbalance and giving in the connection. One person wanted to go cheat and do other things, right? And the spirit is saying, just have patience. Everything is unfolding in divine timing here. You accepting and healing and understanding that this not working out. Here, I'm going to show you these cards. Was just you being divinely guided to go heal and do some work. You know, you accepted it for what it was, you know, and now you're getting ready. To, you're both healing and mirroring each other. And now you want to take this leap of faith and you, you've both grown. I feel like and you're learning these lessons. Let's <laughs> this is funny. Okay. Divine masculine, divine feminine want to come into union. Let's play some tarot. Tell me more about this divine masculine, divine feminine connection, please. Oh, yeah, there was definitely some an ending here. Scorpio energy, the death card. There was definitely an ending here, and um, but also transformation. Like I said, a lot of lessons, a lot of growth, a lot of those issues. You know what I mean? So the two of you have learned quite a bit here. Yeah, you've ended. Somebody, oh, you guys are ready to end playing games? Five of Swords with the Death card. You're ending playing games. Let's let's get some more surrounding energy. That's what it's looking like the next actions for this will be. And page of, page of Wands. Okay. The Moon. Page of Pentacles. Somebody, I feel like somebody's afraid to have a conversation. Afraid to address something. Afraid to have that talk or afraid to be the first to make a move or something like that. Yeah, bottom of the deck is the Ten of Cups. Hmm. So, clarify the Page of Pentacles and the Page of Wands. Someone here could be a younger fire sign or a younger earth sign or a cancer. Yeah, yeah, the hangman. I, that's what I was saying. It's like it's like some you're, somebody or both of you are afraid to communicate with each other. You're afraid to speak up first or say something or make a move. But it's, there is energy of like, I don't want to play no games anymore. You know, that Chris Brown, I don't want to play no games, play no games. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just saying that's what it seems like, you guys. Is anybody going to make a move here or what? Here, here, Holy Spirit. What was that? Oh. Okay. The hair fine. Somebody, okay. So is somebody going to make a move? Let's see. Yeah, somebody's definitely going to make a move. Knight of Swords. Two of Wands. There goes that Two of Wands energy. Like, I don't know. I want to make a move, but I'm still unsure. But what I know I do want is I got to take a different path to make this work. Three of Pentacles. I know I got to look at things differently this time around and be dedicated fully dedicated this person or the both of you both know that i feel like you're on a number one what's different about this time and this energy that i'm seeing here is that 
it's like you've learned a lesson, you've learned a spiritual lesson here with the Hierophant and this Two of Wands. It's like, okay, I'm on a new spiritual journey. I've done the work on myself. I've perfected who I am. I've, I've realized and reflected every all these things that I needed to learn. And of course, there's still always going to be more to learn. But, the, but it's like, okay, I'm willing to do the work and walk down this path. I'm, I'm okay with going. I'm okay with going. You know, and this person is going, walking right into this three of pentacles. Um, yeah, look at this. Bottom of the deck is the nine of wands. I feel like this is about surrendering and trusting. Surrendering, trusting, and ex surrendering, accepting, and trusting. Because in this nine of wands, this person looks like they are surrendering. Like, you know what? I just... I'm just going to trust the path. I'm just going to take it, take the leap of faith. Spirit is saying here, it is safe for you to make the move that you are considering. Okay. Tell me what else here about divine masculine and divine feminine. What's the outcome of this? What will be the outcome of this? There's going to be communication. Page of Swords, this is judgment. There's definitely going to be communication here. Okay. Page of Swords and judgment is communication. Judgment is reconciliation. Scorpio energy. Mm. What's the outcome? Show me more on the outcome. A hermit. A lot of self-reflection happening here. The high priestess. So now the her the hierophant and the high priestess is out here. Someone here is going. I'm telling you, there's a spiritual ascension happening here, and I feel like it's happening for the both of you. Yeah, the sun. It's like something's being illuminated, revealed to you or to your person. Eight of Pentacles, Three of Cups. Somebody definitely reunion and Nine of Cups energy. Yeah. This King of Swords. I saw the Queen of Swords earlier. So there's your, your divine pair. This, this masculine's been waiting for this union longer, I feel, than this feminine. You know... Listen, so for some of y'all, this could be a new person too, okay? Just apply this where it feels comfortable for you. Let's uh, pull a different deck. So Virgo energy with the Hermit and then and Pisces energy with the High Priestess. This is real strong wisdom energy here. Like there was some form of spiritual ascension, you know, because with the Page of Swords, the Page of Swords is, yeah, communication, but it's also being curious. It's also learning some form of lesson because the reason i say that is look at what follows all these major arcanas there was a major shift happening a major spiritual shift happening it's almost like the divine orchestrated for this to happen the way it did which is amazing because when you get the hierophant and the high priestess together because here we have judgment the hermit and the high priestess that's a lot of fucking wisdom and then when you put these two together which is the masculine and the feminine together these are the counterparts in this deck right they're the hierophant and the high priestess are counterparts Shit. <laughs> that's great oh uh, what else here for this connection what else All right, let's look at this. This person, the divine masculine is so afraid that the divine feminine has moved on. Okay, or they do not want you to move on. The thought of you being with them makes them very jealous and, and like crazy, insane crazy. Some of you all, like I was saying earlier, there's somebody new in mind. And when this happens, your past person is going to be extremely jealous. 
because for some of y'all, I feel like either the connection, the past connection was blocked so the two of you could come together and grow and heal and then reunite, or you both are extending, but I feel like Divine Feminine, you, you do have some new love or new energy coming in, and that rejection was protection because they have somebody better for you. Yeah, this person lacked maturity and growth. They just, you know, yeah, see, there's nothing else that you need to do. There's nothing else that you need to do right now. It's just accept. What did I say? Allow. I forget. Allow, trust, accept, and trust. That's all you really got to do. There's nothing you could have done differently. Challenge, the challenges teach you everything as it should be. For some of y'all, your birthday could be in May. Somebody's birthday could be in May. Um, but yeah, that, that was a spiritual lesson for you to be someone else. Yeah, I'm telling you, not ready to commit, but they don't want to lose you either. They want to keep their options open. I feel like th this person wanted to keep their options open when the two of you were together. Like, they definitely had options. And you know that you're not going to continue to, some of you all know that this, you're afraid this person is going to continue to be in that behavior. And you know that you deserve better. And so you know that there's just something better waiting for you. Um, you're just got, you just got to overcome that fear, right? Or your person needs to overcome some form of fear. And I did see fear. Okay. How is this divine masculine? Because I saw that sexual energy earlier. How is this divine masculine feeling about this divine feminine? Yeah, see, it says, this card says, I want to tie you up. You see what I'm saying? Somebody is really the number 10. It could be a Taurus or a Capricorn. Um, this is, man. Yeah, this person really wants to be up all night long, by the way, you guys. They really do. And they say they love you. I love you so much, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Kiss me slowly. Ooh. Aries energy. You are my one and you have my heart, mind, body, and soul. I want you off of my mind and on me. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. That's crazy. So I hope this really makes sense. Like I said, some of y'all will reunite with your person. Some of you will not because you feel like you don't trust them. You're afraid that they still haven't changed and they haven't matured enough or they haven't left a third party. Others of you, you went through this spiritual ascension. You're not going to look back. You know that you deserve better. And you decided to take a leap of faith towards something new. And that's what you're going to hold out and do. And then, boom, while you're on that path of holding out, you're going through all this flipping spiritual awakening, <laughs> which this is huge. Like, you're going from the student to the teacher, the student to the flippant teacher. You are going from the student to the teacher, like the master. Okay, high priestess hair fine. And then and then you're gonna meet your person who's an energetic match, and they're gonna be the master too. And then y'all are gonna come together and teach each other things. It's brilliant. It's brilliant. All right. I love it. I love you guys. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. If you need a personal reading, that information is below in the description box. And also, too, I am also having a sale on readings. OK, so if you want a 10 minute reading question of your choice or subject matter of your choice, check that out. It's it's only on sale, like ten dollars. OK, so love you guys.